it's another Dublin derby, it's another potential night of drama and it's another stop on the winding road to the conclusion of what has been one of the most compelling League of Ireland seasons in recent times. Shells coming into tonight desperate to put an end to their patchy run of form and take charge of the title race once again with the finish line coming into view but for Shamrock Rovers as mentioned it's a case of must win as they try and claw back ground on the leader. That's what I mean about Sean Boyd. If he's that focal point, that's the, that's the type of ball that Shells can play up to him. He's very strong, he's very committed. He can hold the ball up for players around him. So that's where he needs to stay in that position. Here's some space now for Shamrock Rovers. And Troy, a lovely ball inside. Watts has found a pocket inside the area. Shells get the defenders back. Nice ball across. No one there in a green and white shirt. But then indecision from Shells. They try to clear it. Cleary was closing in and eventually... Connor Cairns brings some calm to the situation. Tullock, dispossess. Shamrock Rovers applying the pressure now. Mandroyer switches it all the way across. Ferugia has a run. We'll get this across left, but a good ball! And a wonderful finish! And Shamrock Rovers lead, and it's that man Jack Byrne in the 18th minute. Stephen Bradley's team move in front. A delightful finish from Jack Byrne. Ah, it's top class from Neil Farouge out that left hand side. We talked about it up against John O'Sullivan. He takes him on the outside, so direct. Great ball across and a wonderful finish by Jack Byrne with the outside of his right boot. 1 0 Shamrock Rovers. But Farouge down that left hand flank. And that's a finish of the highest quality from Jack Byrne. And that's the goal that has Shamrock Rovers in front. The league leaders behind. And Tala Stadium celebrates the opening goal of the evening. Drives it forward. Nicely controlled by Mandroyu. Burns has Cleary in support. Hangs on to possession. Backing him up is uh, Watts. Now O'Neill. Burns again. Had the time to pick the cross. Didn't quite connect with it as well. But it's fallen for Watts. It's well saved. Good save by Connor Cairns. Watts probably didn't catch the shot as well as he would like. Yeah, and just before that, Burns didn't catch the cross well. It's a poor clearance from Ledwidge. Pro disappointed with Watts there. He probably, with his ability, probably could have come onto it and hit a first time on the half volley. Gannon goes long. Coot has made the dart forward. This is falling nice for Boyd! Oh, it's a great effort. And it's been put behind for a corner kick. Hit it first time. And struck it sweetly. It would be interesting to know if this is on target, because if it is, it's an absolutely unbelievable save by Poles. What a strike by Boyd. Just from that angle, I don't know, this would probably be the better one. He does really well here, Coote. It's a great strike. It's an unbelievable save by Poles to keep that out. There's been a lot of talk about Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper this season. Obviously only keeping seven clean sheets, and they had kept 20 last year. Smart. Martin looking for the run here of Boyd and he's found him as well. Coot is in support in the middle. Sean Boyd for Shelburne. Kicks it across. Coot for Shelburne. Coot! Good save from Leon Poles. And Lopez will clear it away. That's much better from Shelburne. Another big chance. It's brilliant play by Shelburne. I was just waiting for Sean Boyd to make the move. And I was just like, go on, go on. But he makes the move. Great ball in. Good touch. First touch by Ali Coot. That's a good save by Liam Poles. Down low just behind him a little bit and he's had to kind of bend his leg back to try and get the power behind it he's hit the target yeah, he struck it nice Tullock does really well here and plays it inside now it's found its way towards Martin just muscled off possession but Shell still have it Caffrey thinking about the shot here he will wind up and stings the hands of Poles but never really troubled the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper again Shamrock Rovers putting a lot of bodies forward Liberty's a good one, free header. Oh, they really should score. Sean Hoare will wonder how he hasn't found the back of the net. It's an absolute sitter. And it's because it's Sean Hoare that it's an absolute sitter. It's a brilliant ball in by Jack Bourne. And Sean Hoare, nine times out of ten, will put that in the back of the net. And it just creeps wide of Conor Cairns' left post. It's a big, big let off for Shelburne. Free header for Sean Hoare. The first team here at Shamrock Rovers and in here for the closing stages. Stephen Bradley watching on from a distance this evening. 
Tip forward here for Shelburne. Up towards the edge of the area. Falls for O'Sullivan. Takes it back inside. What an effort that is from Harry Wood. And it's gone out for a corner kick. It's an unbelievable effort. Sean Gannon with the long free kick up. Sean Hall plays it away. And it comes to John O'Sullivan who cleverly cuts it back in. And Wood puts an excellent effort. And it clips the top of the bar. I think Neil Doyle thinks Paulus gets a touch on it. He doesn't. And it's a corner kick, but it should be a goal kick. What an effort from Harry Wood. He'll take the corner kick here as well. Can Shelburne make this pressure count with an equaliser? In the 84th minute here at Tallis Stadium. Ball whipped in. Headed away by Lopez. And Shamrock Rovers have got themselves a free kick. The captain doing brilliantly there under pressure. Yeah, it's good, a good delivery by Hardy Wood. But again, Boyd is the person who makes the foul. Well, Shelburne still searching for that equaliser. They were hit by a late goal to lose to St. Pat's on Monday night. Can they find a goal at the other end here to earn themselves a point tonight? It'll be a big, big point, you feel, in the context of the title race. With three games left to go after this evening. The Shamrock Rovers are looking here for the goal to cap a chance. And it's in. And that should be that for Shamrock Rovers. It's finished by Neil Perugia. A wonderful left-footed finish. And Tala Stadium erupts. Shamrock Rovers lead by two goals to nil. And they're right back in the title race now. He tops off a superb performance with a fantastic finish off his left foot. Watch that bit of play by Graham Bourke. Perugia drives inside, no one comes out to deal with him and he puts it past the outstretched arm of Conor Cairns in the Shelburne net but Burke has been unbelievable there, a little nutmeg of Letwich with his back to go and Perugia two touches, places it into the far corner Green's movement as well in the inside, takes the defenders away from Perugia and it's a wonderful finish into the far corner and just look at what it means to Shamrock Rovers, they know how big that goal might be with so much to play for over the coming weeks Neil Ferrugia finishing off the move after a superb bit of play along the touchline from Graham Burke and if they can get three points there it puts them in an incredible position then going in, into the draw of the game where they have at home as well and then it could lead to the, the title decider up at the Roy McBride Brandywell good ball in here, chance for Caffrey at the back post oh, it's blocked on the line, that's wonderful defending from Shamrock Rovers it looks certain to hit the back of the net there it's an unbelievable block off the line. Josh Honan, another player that has performed so admirably for Shamrock Growers. He dives right across the ball. Right back into it now, the reigning champions, as they look for their fifth league title in a row. And the final whistle has sounded. And in the end, Shamrock Growers end as 2-0 winners. Bernard Ferrugia on the mark. Shelburne still lead at the top. But Shamrock Growers closing right in there. They're within two of the league leaders as things stand three games left to go for either team and it's all to play for in this title race full time at Tallis Stadium Shamrock Rovers 2 Shelburne 0